<laughs> you have reached for Maka TV. And if it's your first time here, thank you so much for subscribing. And to all my ride and die. Hey. Hey. <laughs> thank y'all for always tuning in and coming back to back to back, baby. Yo, over and over again. Yo, today, 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 baby. <laughs> We have my boy, my homie, Samson, the sixth sense. Yo, y'all requested this, and I know you requested it probably some days ago, but I do apologize. But hey, I'm here right now for you, and I love y'all for real. Yo, uh, we're going to quit talking so much and go and get into this thing like a chicken wing. He that made you your mind. It ain't no sense to just keep talking when we ain't got to, huh? Okay, let's go. Let's get it. Fellow Americans, good morning. Certain dates echo throughout history. The January 6th insurrection. January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. The January 6th Capitol insurrection. January 6th. January 6th. January the 6th. January 6th. Including date. Yes, I remember January 6th very much so. I, it, it, it's like in the front of my mind. It's not thrown in the back. I, I put it in front because <laughs> you have to remember certain things. It's that instantly remind all who have lived through them where they were and what they were doing when our democracy came under assault. These clear acts of sedition and violence and terrorism. A violent terrorist attack on the Capitol. Such an attack on our democracy. Violent attack to overthrow an election. The worst attacks in American history. If I can't have it my way, I'll burn the whole country down. Dates that occupy not only a place on our calendars, but a place in our collective memory. Mm -hmm. December 7th, 1941. Mm. September 11th, yeah. 2001. And January 6th, 2021. Mm. Let me see what my boy feel about it. Newsflash, nobody gives a fuck about it. We all admit this <laughs> shit. <laughs> Wait a minute, man. But what? 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 Okay, man. It's it's okay. You just got me off guard. It's all right, though. It was pretty dumb, but that's about it. When we saw the news, we were shocked and we were kind of tense. Like, damn. Then we forgot about it by the 10th. Nobody's <laughs> walking around stressing over Jan 6. It happened and that was it. We haven't gave a damn sense. It's all good. When riots are kept in the hood, but now you're freaking out because this was in the neck of your woods. Now it's a big deal. Now it gets real. Now it's important to us. Right. Now, now you want to do something about it. <laughs> Not back then in 2020 when stores were boarded up. Not back then when goods were looted. Folks were brutalized then, but right now, because it happened to the suit and tie. Huh. That shit's way above my head. We were fucking shit up all year with demonstrations that left dozens dead. But people like Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what you said? <laughs> There's literally compilation videos of you. Wow. So, so, so freaking true. Man. Man. Wow. Wow, now they, I'm gonna let my boy finish his story. Demonstrations that left dozens dead, but people like mm. Nancy didn't flinch. In fact, they loved it then. Right. People will do what they do. Bitch, ain't that what you said? Yeah. Yep. There's literally compilation videos of you and all your colleagues inciting this kind of crap. Mm. So it's very fascinating to watch you swallow your words. You put your own foot in your mouth, and now you're forced to dial it back. Mm -hmm. It's fine when you encourage it in my town, in his town, in her town, when the whole fucking city's being burnt mm. down. You smile as you give the green light for mobs to rob shit, but uh. as soon as it comes close to you, then it's a problem. Mm. Got it. 
I don't condone what happened on that day, especially the officers that were assaulted. I would never dare. But as for all the politicians that were there, you fuck us over all the time. So don't expect us to care. I care more about the store owner that's getting beat down in front of his shop just for trying to protect his place of business. He would probably help me if he saw me on the ground dying. Y'all wouldn't do a damn thing. Shit, you probably say good riddance. You walk right over me like I was a crack and you were trying to save your mother's back like a five-year-old kid. If you did acknowledge me, you probably nudge my body and go, Aw, little fucker must have died of COVID. <laughs> you know it's true. Stop bluffing. All right. They do absolutely nothing that is trusting. Mm -hmm. Kamala, for you to compare this to Pearl Harbor and 9-11 is disrespectful and fucking disgusting. Mm -hmm. That's the most self-centered thing that I've ever seen. Compared to those events, it's not even worth remembering. Mm -hmm. No one that I know is even still paying attention to it. We'd all forget this shit in like a month if nobody mentioned it. Yep. And you know it too. Uh -huh. You're gonna milk this thing and squeeze it till it's bone dry and it won't drip any juice. Mm -hmm. While your stupid committee's wasting money convicting people from a year ago, I'll see and then runs continuous loops. Yep. We would rather Ooh. hear you address a million other issues. We don't want to listen to you cry. Get a fucking mm. tissue. So many <laughs> things could be dealt with in a jiff, but you would rather sit in front of us and smell your own shit. Mm. I refuse to show concern for a group of people that I have no respect for. I won't go there. I'm not happy about it. I'm not mad about it either. I'm just neutral on the issue. I just don't care. Wow. Yeah, I'm back. <laughs> oh, shit. Yo. Bravo, bravo, bravo. So I apparently was wrong. <laughs> uh, but I do remember it. Um, I do. Now, like he said, to compare it with everything else that's been with, with Pearl Harbor and 9-11, January 6th compared to those, nothing in comparison. But, yeah, I totally agree in that statement. I mean, Samson, I love his perspective about the U.S. Yes, the United States of America. I I love his perspective of it. And in a lot of instances, I agree with a lot of it. Do I agree with every single bit of it? Not really, but I re re <laughs> I do agree with 98.9, .9, might as well say 99% of it, of what he says is what I'm saying, referring to. But yeah, if you agree with my boy, my boy, my boy, my boy with my boy and his raps and everything like that, and you love his music because I do, because I'm going to keep reacting to it. So I uh, hope y'all love it. <laughs> y'all y'all keep requesting it. So I'm assuming you love it. So down in the description box below, <laughs> we're going to have that link to his channel. And hey, you can head over over there because we're trying to get my boy to 100K. He's at 99.1. We're trying to get him to 100K. Please head over there. If you haven't subscribed, please go subscribe. If you already subscribed, please go check and make sure you still subscribe because you know them gods over there. You know the gods they're watching right now. <laughs> the YT God. <laughs> watching right now, man. So Hey, it might be gone. But let me get out of here. Y'all probably ain't even right here listening to me. Hey, subscribe. Because when you do, put your request. And I oblige. Marcus signing off. Peace. And I'm out, baby. Baby, 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 baby. Oh.